Investigators have had their hands full to say the least, trying to keep beachgoers hands empty. Our Jeff Vallon has more tonight. Anthony and Heather, now that wave of pot washing up on the waves includes four counties, Duval, St. John's, Flagler and Volusia. It's hard enough for police to track down the source, but it's also all they can do to stop the people who swarm to exploit the cash crop as if their ship has just come in. We're at Jungle Hut and a huge mm -hmm. bundle of drugs or something just washed up on the beach and there are people like fighting over it. A 911 call from a Palm Coast beachgoer to the Flagler County Sheriff's Office last Thursday morning. That bundle, like several recently washing ashore in St. Johns County and some off the coast, marijuana, 100 pounds worth. I would think it is probably uh, connected. I've never heard of this happening here in, in Palm, around Palm Coast, usually down in Miami. There is a guy in a blue black swim trunk and a khaki hat digging in it right now. Police would arrest one man they say had stashed some in his car by the time they arrived. When I asked uh, why he didn't call the police, or the sheriff's office, he said he wasn't sure whether or not we were going to show up. That story landing 61 year old Robert Kelly of Palm Coast in the Flagler County Jail. Probably wasn't thinking straight or or maybe he's a user, who knows? But I presume that he was either going to be uh, the biggest hit at the party that weekend or turn a quick buck. One of those people was caught elbow deep in the, well, not exactly cookie jar, but police say baked goods nevertheless. There was a girl that took some in a yellow bikini. She took off. She took like a huge chunk of it and she's still on the loose. She has very distinctive tattoos on her. Appears to be about uh, late 20s in age. No matter how it washes up, police have stern advice what to do if you ever stumble across some maritime marijuana yourself. Important thing to do is to contact law enforcement. Okay, don't molest it, don't touch it. It is in fact evidence. What not to do is to uh, break it open, uh, take a bundle of it, wrap it in a towel, and hide it in your, in your vehicle. Now be aware that playing finders keepers can keep you locked in a cell for up to five years. If you have information that can help police, call Crime Stoppers at 866-845-TIPS. Jeff Ballon, First Coast News on your side. Back to you, Anthony.